Okay, welcome to my channel. I'm Nicole Sierra and this video is going to be an updated JK. Never done it before. So my first hair care routine slash video that doesn't make any sense. My first hair care routine slash products that I use currently on my hair. So here is my hair right now. It's a little bit wet in certain places. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna walk you through it, show you all the stuff and even the brushes, everything. Okay. It's nothing crazy, but just want to show it. <laughs> Okay, my hair is crazy. I can't be showing a video about hair and looking crazy. Maybe I should brush it. So sorry, my bed is not made at all. I'm washing my sheets actually right now. And my mom got me this little cover. It has little Snoopies on it. I was like, oh, okay. The shampoo, this is, and the conditioner together. I have rebought this three times and it, re I, it works for me. I really like it. So this one is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. So the reason why I actually got any of this was because I did hear, a uh, not a lot, but a few YouTubers saying that they liked this shampoo specifically before. And so I was like, okay, interesting. I think I might try it because I have really dry skin, first of all, and I also have a really dry scalp. So my scalp matches the skin. And so I would sometimes get, especially during the winter, like little dry flakes on my scalp. And I thought, I'm like, is this dandruff? Till I found out, no, it's dry scalp. So the Scalp Revival, like the way that it is like a charcoal exfoliating shampoo, it really did help as far as like getting rid of, I feel like all of that like dead skin and like dry skin that was like on my head. And like this, I actually feel like I saw a difference. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival. And on top of that, it's like really minty so that's what it looks like the tub i'm not a huge fan of i wish it was like a different way to get use out of it um i will say though that like at first i was using it and i would kind of grab a lot since it was like in a tub but honestly now i only use two fingers and like it really like lathers up and you can get a lot of use out of just like a little bit so although it's kind of expensive i think it's like 34 dollars. i can get this like i can make it last and get my money's worth because it does work like really well with just a little bit of product. Then also from Brio Geo, I like to get the, the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is just like a classic. This is obviously in Allure's Best of Beauty. The little tag on there, it was a winner for 2020. This is what it looks like. And instead of using a conditioner now, I just use this. I feel like, why would I use something that's like gonna do less, but do the same thing? like? A conditioner versus like a deep conditioning mask the more the better especially because my hair is so long it gets really tangly easily especially you know at the bottom and stuff so like the conditioner really needs to like condition a lot of hair so the 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 thicker the product the better especially like I feel like my hair is it can get a little dry it's not I mean like it's pretty you know like it can be soft and silky but like that's because I feel like I've been using these products especially considering that I used to have my hair blonde all the time. My hair was never like gross. The blonde was never like, you know, like, like maybe sometimes at the ends, you know, but besides that, my hair was really healthy, even still having it dyed and have it dyed blonde. Honestly, this moving into the next step, this has completely transformed my hair. Even just a few weeks that I've been using it, I can feel a difference. Even now, like even after I take a shower and I haven't used it, I can tell a difference in my hair which is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. And this, you know, Olaplex is a very popular brand. I'm gonna put it in right now. Um, I'll do like one drop, two drops, just like a little bit enough to cover the bottom of my palm. And then I just kind of put it through the ends and I think I put too little. I'll put a little bit more and they recommend that you do it when your hair is damp and kind of just throughout the whole head. The place that I got my hair dyed this last time, I saw that she had it and she used it. And you know, they washed my hair and right when it was in the sink afterwards, it was still damp, they put the oil in it. And I realized I was thinking so hard, like, you know, after I get my hair done, they curl it, it's dyed. Although it's like freshly dyed and it looks gorgeous. And I love the way that they curl it. It's just like different than when I do it. I was like, what makes the hair like, literally so soft so healthy even for like three days after they make that hair look gorgeous and so i was like i'm sure i obviously can get the same thing at home like you know i just need to practice and be consistent with it 
And so I was like, you know what? I 100% believe it's the oil that I wasn't using. And like I did have another avocado oil that I had bought from like Walgreens for like three dollars and I used it a few times but I honestly didn't really see much of a difference which kind of disappointed me and discouraged me to keep using the product you know so this one I used it and right away I saw a difference and like this I actually ordered off of Amazon so like that was exciting that it came through Prime and so yeah I really recommend this especially if you have like dry your hair or you just want to like even start a routine I feel like that would be the the place to start it at you know just getting yourself a little oil at least working with that adding that to your like hair care routine i'm very disappointed in myself i wasn't recording and i just talked a whole bunch okay so next after that i will move on to brushes that's what i was saying was this brush right here which is a wet brush and this completely changed my hair for the better because for years like years and years and years ago, I used to like hate brushing my hair. It was such a hassle because it was so long and it would get so knotty after taking a shower. It would be literally like a strain on my muscles on my arms just to brush my hair. But the girl that I always go to for my hair, Isabel, who is in the like Chicago, Northwest Indiana area, she's so sweet and she's so talented. She's so talented with blonde. So if you're ever looking to like go like a beautiful, gorgeous, like ashy gray toned blonde or like just like a beautiful blonde she is the go-to girl she's so talented and she's super sweet i always have a great time when i'm there with her so she told me and put me on to all only using wet brushes to brush my hair like completely if it's dry if it's wet to use a wet brush and it completely changed my life and so now I brush my hair more often and now it's not as difficult to brush it since like before I would get out of the shower and just throw it up in a messy bun and just call it a day because I hated it so much. But my life got even easier when I got into looking up celebrity hairstylists like in their videos and what they do, especially Chris Appleton who does like Ariana Grande's hair, Kim Kardashian's hair and things like that. And so in his videos, he shared that he only has like one brush that he uses religiously. And this is not it because his brush is $175. But he basically said that he likes that brush that I forgot the name of because it has two sets of bristles. So this one has like the plastic ones and down it also has the little soft fluffy ones that you find in like this type of brush. So I was like, if he says it, like why not? He's do He knows the best, he knows the stuff, so I'm gonna do it. So I saw this brush was very similar to that brush. I got this from like TJ Maxx. And so this completely changed my life. I swear this has made brushing my hair so much easier and I don't know what it is about like the double bristles, it does give your hair that softer sleeker look and considering going back from like a regular brush that has just the plastic to a wet brush to both in both of these so yeah that completely changed my life this double bristle bristle double brush bristle brush and then he also said that he really liked this comb which is from nordstrom actually and this brand is baby tress t-r-e-s-s -S, and they have these online to lay baby hairs down it has this side and then it has like a little comb and then the other end is like a really pointy thing to like separate the hair and the reason why i like this one because i've had other ones like this but this one is super finely thin like very very skinny very pointy and so i feel like it does a way better job at like separating your hair than any other brush and it has this on the other side to lay your baby hairs down so it's perfect and like a little brush sometimes i use this to brush out my brows and also like lay the brows down too as well so i feel like it's wonderful it comes in many colors it's like seven dollars and it's 10 out of 10 worth it okay so now that i've showed you some tools let's go move on and get into something else i recently also added this to my routine which is the southern bell volume boosting root lifter and i'll show you how it works it looks kind of scary And then you just kind of, you know, scrunch it into the hair at the root. And the reason why I got this is because Hattie Bakes on YouTube, she gives the best recommendations. And when she recommended this in her hair care routine, I was like, that's exactly what I need. Because she was talking about how, like, her hair isn't, like, the most voluminous. And neither is mine. Like, it has never been. So when I got this, I was really, really, really excited and hopefully like that it would work. And like you can even tell right now, like it does like give you volume. And like, I mean, I guess you could add more. I always just put a little bit just at the root. It makes the hair not flat. It's not like obviously I'm not going to leave it like this, 
but I do notice a difference and this is just part of it. I don't know. It works for me. And then she also recommended this silk blowout and this is from OGX. Not sure exactly how they would say that, but this I got from Amazon too. That was from Sephora. So this, I'll put a few pumps of this in my hand and it's just like kind of like a serum type thing. And it is just like a blowout spray. So I will run this through mainly the bottom parts of my whole hair. It says cut your blow dry time in half. No, it doesn't say half, I just said it. <laughs> cut blow dry time and protect hair for big, beautiful blowouts. So let's add a little bit more. So the next step I would do after, usually my hair would be a little bit more wet since I've been talking and stuff, is the Revlon like blow drying brush thing. And this 20 out of 20 recommend. I feel like this has also helped me so much because like, especially having long hair, when my hair is long and wet, I'm just like, I don't want to do it. It's, it's not happening today. But this completely changed my life by like, let's say today, like I took a shower earlier today. I would have been like, it's going to take my hair so long to dry, so long to blow dry even. Just standing there would be such a drag and such a hassle that I, I wouldn't want to do it. But this, like I could literally take a shower, do all this, blow dry my hair. And like it comes out so pretty that like I'll just obviously if I want to like save time, I won't curl my hair or anything. Like I'll leave it straight for the day since I've already took time to do this. But if I run the straightener on the, the front pieces of my hair to do like a little flip out or in whatever, like maybe just touch up a few pieces in the back, then like I'm ready to go. So I'll show you how I do this. But before I do that, I usually always like tend to like part my hair first. Come through double brush double bristle brush see it looks great it looks so great already okay so i'll have it already brushed out so it doesn't make it harder for me Literally, that was just running it through my hair like a few times and it feels and looks so soft and cute. But yeah, like I said, I might take my straightener and go over like a few pieces, but I feel like this is appropriate, you know, like to walk outside. But yeah, and then sometimes like I will, if I wanted to, then like go through and like also flip up the ends, but that I'm still getting like practice with, but this is something that's going to be coming next, but I'm working on that. And then just like some last two things is that if I actually was doing my hair and I wanted to do like a ponytail or something, I would use this Color Wow hairspray, which is now sold at Sephora that Chris Appleton also recommended. So I was all up, all up in his stuff, wanted to know what he was using, how he was using it, and I wanted it since he does Kim K and Ariana Grande's hair. That's all I got to know. So he said he likes to use this. And then he also uses this and a few more products, but these are the only two that I got. This is the Color Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. So it just kind of gets your hair really shiny and like a pretty look to it. And then I'll do sometimes occasionally too, especially if I'm wearing curls. So yeah, here is my hair. Let me brush it. So yeah, it feels great, especially like my hair is so long. It makes it feel lighter and softer and just like prettier, like, you know, healthy. Healthy, there you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this hair care routine for now. And I hope you guys enjoy the products and in my bed with no sheets on it. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. A uh, strain on my muscles on my arms just to brush my hair. But the girl that I always go to for my hair, Isabel, who is in the like Chicago, Northwest Indiana area. She is an absolute... Hold on. She is an absolute...